So this is my video about YouTube on the Raspberry Pi. You can see there it is all plugged in with the composite going to an RF modulator, running on an SD card, Ethernet hooked up, keyboard, and sound going into this nice, awesome, clear prison TV that I picked up at a jump shop. So let's get this in the tripod here and show you the stuff. Okay, so there's this nice program called YT, which is a Python-based YouTube browser for the terminal. So you can run, you can browse YouTube and watch YouTube videos without even starting X, which is really awesome on the Raspberry Pi because X is somewhat slow. So we load the YT interface, and it's got this nice um, interface here. So you can search for something, and for example, Charlie bit my finger, and it's a talking YouTube, and it comes up whoo, with these nice videos here. So we can play one, for example, six, and it will play the video. So this is live streaming from YouTube. It's playing the video as it's downloading it, so none of this waiting around and then playing the video afterwards. It's going right away. Uh, full screen using, you can see it's playing really smoothly, using the Raspberry Pi's great video decoding capabilities built into that ARM 11 chip. So then the OMX player, which is what this is using, is supposed to be able to be killed by pressing Q, but it doesn't always work. Anyhow, so sometimes you have to kill it by pressing Control C, and then you start the YouTube interface again. So I got this hacked together this afternoon, and a link is in the description with a how-to on the Raspberry Pi form. So it's pretty cool. You can run pretty much any YouTube video you want, even nice awesome videos like this and it will come in just a second yeah lots of fun stuff to happen oh there at the time the queue worked so sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't I haven't figured out what the difference is yet but so yep this is one of the first projects I did with the Raspberry Pi and to be honest it's pretty cool to have a terminal-based HTPC. So, come back to my channel later for other videos and possibly more Raspberry Pi tutorials and how-tos and examples. Goodbye!